This is my friend Asaf here, and what organisation are you part of? Uh, we are part of Anonymous for uh, Animal Rights. Anonymous, Anonymous for Animal Rights, rights and yeah. how long has that organisation been around for? Uh, about 30 years. 30 years, yeah. wow. Here in Israel, yeah. Wow. So this is similar, it's like the cube of truth but it's a bit different. Explain yeah. it for us. Um, okay, the basic uh, principle is that people don't know really what, what uh, happens here inside. Yeah. Um, there's, it's, what is written here is uh, would you make it uh, being three minutes inside? Yeah. Um, they don't know what it's about, you don't tell them, and once they go inside, they see slaughterhouse footage yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and videos from, uh, from dairy farms yeah. and uh, okay. chickens ground alive, yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, effective? Do you feel like it's effective? Uh, yeah, because it, re it really attracts people because yeah. uh, they see the cube challenge. Yeah. So they are like, uh, yeah, I want to know what it yeah. is, I want to, to find out whether yeah. I can really do it myself yeah. and uh, succeed and once they go inside um, then most people actually stay until the end of the video wow. uh, which is like uh, three four minutes long awesome and once they come out here then uh, we talk to them we ask yeah. them how how was it what do you think about it was it okay with what you saw do you think about stop e eating yeah. eggs meat milk that sort of stuff and they, uh, their reactions are really amazing. Wow. Because once people are really committed to it, they, they sit through it three minutes, they can't really deny what's happening. Wow. They, see, yeah. they, they, they can't really say that it doesn't happen. Yeah. And it makes it harder to argue, doesn't it? Yeah. So this type of method is very effective, and, and I think it's a very good idea. So keep up the good work, brother. Thank you. Thank you. So right at the front of uh, Israel McDonald's here. We got the cube challenge. Um, so, what do you think about eating animals? Do you think we need to to survive? It's hard for us to, to speak about it because I was a vegetarian for a okay. long time. Yeah. And he's not. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm. Yeah. Now I'm. I'm also eating meat. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, like the opposite way from most people yeah. these days. Um, and. It's hard for me. Wow. It's not. I'm. I'm not com complete oh. about it. Yeah. I feel maybe someday I will be a vegetarian yeah. again. Yeah. Um. I know. I know the suffer of the animals. Yeah. It's touching for me. It so hurts. that's why I prefer not to see it. Oh wow. You think if you don't see it, it won't happen? It, no, it will. I understand it's happening. It's of happen. course, it's yeah. happening. And yeah. I know. Uh, like if we um, if we buy the the meat and the eggs and the milk, yeah. then we pay for that to happen to the animals. Do you know, like by um. But not all companies and not all people are doing that. We have a lot of friends who in the into the meat industry and they they don't treat the animals like that they, they grow them uh, out in the, uh, in the field okay and yeah. they try to treat them the best way they, they can, can. They, they don't take the uh, they, they don't take the mothers right after the birth or stuff like that they try to treat them the best way they can because actually they believe that once the cow or the veal or whatever is treated uh, very good. The meat will also be better. Okay. Uh, so, like, do they cut the animals' the throat open to, to kill them at the end when they've at the end I when they've grown? Know, them? How did they kill them? I don't really know yeah. that. So, when you were explaining something before this action, was that what you what did you see exactly on the screen there? The when, when uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but okay. when when he was. Uh, Shoving his hand yeah. into the cow, yeah, 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 into an int intimate, uh, intimate uh, way. Well, yeah, yeah. So, and, yeah. If there was a human in place of the cow, we would call that something, wouldn't we? Yeah, rape. Yeah. Rape. Yeah, yeah. A brutal rape. Yeah. So, they have to do that to impregnate the cow, yeah. make pregnant, yeah, so then they produce milk, and we can take the milk. Yeah. So and, yeah. Do you know what happens to the calves, the baby cows? Do you know what happens to them? The male. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's seen on the video. They kill, they kill them. Yeah, they kill them for meat. You know what happens to the females? They take them for milk. Milk. Do you think it's justified? Do you think it's okay to do that? I don't know if it's okay or not okay. It's a little bit gross. It's a little bit brutal. But I, I don't know if it's not okay, you know. Oh, well, like, what, what does your heart say? You think that it's okay to do that to an animal for... Um, the milk that we don't really need to survive? 
I don't look at it at uh, I don't measure it if it's okay or not okay. okay. Yeah, if if you if you want, I don't think it's not okay. Okay, so what about if you put yourself in the animal's position, and would then it would it be not no, okay I'm, then? I'm not an animal. Yeah, but like if you you know when you empathise with like say someone that's been hurt, you can uh, you feel their suffering. Yeah. Can you do that? Like with animals, can you feel their suffering? Yeah. You can? Yeah, sure. It, it doesn't feel good to watch. You can say, no. oh, that, that would be bad if that was me. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be me because I would never go to work in such a in such, in such place. Well, like, if we were the victims, humans were the victims, we would be not happy. We would, we would think that was wrong. I, yeah? I, don't, I don't agree with the comparisons with that you humans. make between okay. humans and, and uh, animals. And animals. Okay. So we, we would say, like, from the animal's perspective, you know, like, from the animal's point of view, they don't want to be killed. Of course. Yeah. Like they would rather we didn't cut their throat, even if we treat them nicely. You know, like imagine had a dog, uh, you treat them very nicely their whole life and then someone come along, hmm, I might want to eat that dog and they cut the dog's throat, but the dog had a happy life. Would that make it okay if the dog had a happy life? It's better. <laughs> I think it's not okay. okay but it, it's, it's not, it's, it's not, not ideal. It's, it's not, not ideal. Yeah. 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 Let's just say if we can be healthy without eating animals, do you think it's justified to, to, to take their life from them if we don't have to, to survive? That's a big question. Yeah. So wh why are we doing it to them for, if we don't need to, to survive? I don't think we don't need them for survive, but... Well, I'm vegan for, vegan for four years. Right. Healthiest I've ever been. She's also. I she, was, no, I, were, I, I, I was, I, I, was I told you, I was vegetarian for vegetarian. a long time. Yeah. So do you know what a uh, vegan is? Yeah. You don't, oh, well a vegan is like no animal products, yeah, no, so no, no eggs, no oh, milk, yeah. uh, no, no... No, no vegan, I was vegetarian. Yeah, not yeah vegan. vegetarians yeah, yeah. not eating meat, yeah? Yeah, yeah, just, not, yeah. Just, just not eating meat. So but in the eggs and the, the milk, yeah. there's just as much cruelty because all them animals all get killed. All the egg hens, all the dairy cows all get killed. Okay. So we say like they're, they're all connected. So as a, a vegan way of living is not harming animals at all. What do you think about that? It's too big for me. To it's too say. big? Yeah, it's, I don't know what to do. I don't, Do you think I don't it's extreme? For you. you think it's extreme or to not harm animals or? I think this is the this is the way we have we yeah. live. It's yeah. the way we've always yeah. done it, isn't it? Yeah. What about if it was uh, do you have a pets? I I had a pet, yeah. Yeah, dog. Do you like yeah, dogs? Dog. Dog. dog and cats. Yeah, okay. Well what about if it was uh, dogs or cats in there with like we were treating we were taking the puppies away, killing the puppies? Or killing the cow, uh, killing the, the the dog for the meat. Do you think that this would be wrong? Uh, in some places in the world, it, they it do happens. It, yeah. yeah, in Thailand they eat dogs. They do it. But would you? Do you think, like you personally, do you think that that would be not right if we didn't? Let's just say we didn't need to eat dogs to survive. We're just doing it because they taste good. Do you think that that would be wrong to take their life for no reason if we didn't need to? No? I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't tell know? you, I, I, have, I have a very close friend who, who, which is uh, vegan. Vegan? Okay, yeah. Yeah, and he has a dog. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah, and uh, we were just talking about it a few weeks ago. Wow. Yeah, we made the, the in a WhatsApp uh, group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We made the comparison. Yeah. And people got very upset. They got upset. But yeah. why? But if animals should be... If, if they don't care about a cow, pig, chicken... Because you can't grow cow in, in your uh, living room. Ah, in your apartment. So we care about the dogs, that's why we think they're, they're worth more than a cow. Uh, like they make us feel good. Just, that they're just the way we, we live our lives. We're, okay. Right. Do you think we can change though? Like, do you think we always should do what we've always done in the past? Do you think maybe we should evolve past violence? And I think first we need to start uh, respecting each other. Yeah. The vegan, the vegetarian, the meat eaters. Great, great point. Uh, do you think, hey, how about this? If we respected all life, let's just say, if we respected the animals and we, didn't, we treated them in peace with respect, we would treat each other with respect and kindness more? I don't think it's related. You don't think it's related? No. no. Uh, because... Like, if you think a chicken's life is significant and deserves respect, a chicken, yeah. you're going to treat another human with respect too, yeah? I think we should do it uh, regardless. Regardless? So whether you eat meat or don't eat meat, you should respect yeah. each other. Yeah. Because then we, we will be better. But when, when we eat the animals, we're not really respecting them, are we? Because we're saying it's okay to kill them. Do you, th do you agree or...? 
<laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. It's do you agree? Do you yeah, agree? Do you agree with I that? Do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You wouldn't think about not eating animals at all? That didn't make you want to stop eating animals? I did or? try before. Okay. To stop eating uh, yeah. meat. But, you know, it's so uh, excessive. It's meat. everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. But, you know, Israel has the biggest I vegan movement on yeah. earth. Really? Yeah, there's more vegans I here than per capita than anywhere else on the planet. So there's lots of vegan places around and it's fairly easy here. Yeah, but uh, not not so many, and yeah. uh, pro uh, usually they are more expensive. What would stop you? What would, what would stop me? What for from uh, going, going vegan? What, what would be the biggest obstacle? Do you think? Um, what from the again the excessive uh, the the it's the meat too much around? No, the the lack of uh, vegan options. food. Yeah, the lack oh, of well options. Oh, well, you got. Bread and hummus and rice and potatoes yeah, but and bread is uh, is uh, carb and we want uh, protein. Yeah, but we got beans and uh, hummus and yeah. Yeah. You know, there's other things to eat other than yeah. We just talk flesh. about flesh. Majadra is very yeah, easy. yeah, yeah. It, let's just say um, we could find you alternatives, different options. Would you think about it then? Yeah, of course. Okay. So I do. I do feel that when you eat meat, it makes you very heavy. Yeah. I, I do think that we should eat meat, but what? let's say why is that? once. Because why should we like? Why do you, do you think we need to for health? Yeah. Okay. But what, let's what? say let's okay. say once a week, not more. What than what, that. what do you think is in meat that we can't get from plants? I don't know. B12. They say. B okay. But B12 comes from the, the dirt. It's a bacteria found in the dirt and the water. Did no. you know that? No. It's not, it doesn't come from animals. It comes from the dirt and the water. So. So how come it's good for us? Well, we need it. We need it, but um, because every, all the vegetables and fruits are so clean now, they've washed all the B12 off, so we need to supplement it. They actually add it to the animal food. That's why it's inside of the animals, and they inject the animals with it. So that's why it's inside the meat. I didn't know that. Yeah, so we can get B12 from other sources. One multivitamin, it's got enough B12 in it. All the cereals and soy milks and stuff are fortified with B12. So if we took care of the B12, would you think about it even more? Um. Because we can get protein I, I tell, and iron. I tell you what, uh, a good steak is also tasty. I know it's a hard question to ask. I asked myself the same question and I was like, I always ate meat three times you a day. It was difficult for me. Oh, we don't eat meat. Uh, yeah. Every day we try, not because, because of health. No, for, for, me, for me it says something when someone cares about animals, when we just started dating. Yeah. Uh, he was asking for my number and I asked him, okay, what's your age? What's your name? And do you love animals? Where, really? That's the third wow. question I asked him. And what did you say? Yeah. I, I, I grew up uh, with the sheep. You grew, grew up with the sheep? Yeah, with sheep. So you like the sheep? Yeah. But I don't eat sheep. You don't eat sheep because you like them? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So you, you're an animal lover? I mean, uh, of course. We, we have wow. cats. We, we, have we cats. used to have a dog. See, imagine those, those dogs and cats in this position where they're, they're put in the slaughterhouse. You know, This is where the animals will end up. They all end up at the slaughterhouse. You have uh, such an uh, animal uh, shelter house that do the same. They kill the... All the, they yeah, kill the uh, it's not good. It's not. They kill the sick, they kill the wounded, they kill... Yeah. But these animals, uh, there's nothing wrong with them. We're just killing them to eat them. It's unnecessary. Like, we don't... You know, you, know you can live without eating animals, yeah, so... Yeah, it was... How about this? How about if I give you more information, you take it home and you look through it and maybe you look at the, the other information and maybe have a think about it. Uh, I don't think the, I'm the right address for that. You don't reckon you're going to change? You don't, don't think you'd think stop hurting so, no. animals for food, no? Unfortunately, no. I don't oh, think. Wow. I, I like the, the, taste, the taste. I like the... I, I like meat. Okay. You must yeah. be honest. Good point. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, used to lie. Like, I used to eat a lot of meat and used to like yeah. the taste. If, if it's made good. If yeah. it's made good. So, do you think that taste is more important than the animal's life? I think that we should eat less meat. Less. I think that I should eat le less meat. Oh wow! Because what I said that it makes you heavy and and yeah, and it's uh, it's uh, vegan food. It's much. It's uh, digest more easily. It's better and it's healthier. Yeah, you know, vegans you feel, have less. You feel more light yeah. and uh, movement. Vegans have less heart disease and cancer and diabetes and they're I'm slimmer sure. and I'm yeah. Sure. And do you think eating that violence and that suffering is good for us? Good for us in what way? Do you think eating violence and suffering in these animals that in pain, obviously, in their life, do you think consuming that is good for us? You know, we're putting that into our bodies. You know, we, we I don't see it on a, on a daily basis, so 
Yeah, but we let's say, far, far we, from the high, far from yeah. the. Yeah. It's from, hidden from our view. Yeah, exactly. But if we eat it, we, we're consuming it. It's becoming a part of us. Their, their suffering is becoming a part of us. Do you yeah, believe? Yeah, but the whole world is acting this way. So, yeah. the people do lots of bad things in the world. Does that mean that we all should? Because there's bad that's happening. People kill each other. There's there's th bad things happening. But we can make a choice in our lives to do the right thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To act in peace and with respect and with respect to life, you know. Do you think that we all have a power in that? What we do in our own life? Um, you know, you can make a difference in your life. Yeah, I can make a difference in my yeah. life, but uh, first, first of all, it's not going to make difference in the on what we've seen in the film. It will still be happening. Yeah, but you can. But not for me. Not. I'm not going to. So let's just say it. you consume a lot of animals over the time over your course of your life. A thousand, maybe. Let's just say a thousand. Mm -hmm. If you stopped now, yes, you could stop the cruelty in your life. Yeah. That has a significant difference. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh, I'll leave you this one last thing. Right. Do you think the taste? If someone tastes good, that justifies killing them. No, of course not. Yeah, so taste is not more important than life. Of course not. Yeah. If we could find something that tastes the same, would you eat it if it was vegan? Probably. I eat a lot of stuff that is not meat. Wow. And I enjoy it you enjoy quite it? the same. It tastes good too? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So maybe we'll think, if next time maybe we go to get some meat, you might think... Maybe. Maybe, hopefully. Okay. How about this? I'll leave you with some information. Maybe you do a little bit more thinking about it and you know I just want to encourage you to maybe step towards you know being more uh, maybe a more respectful lifestyle to all life you know what I mean more mm -hmm. more peaceful and, and it's healthy for us too you know you're into fitness you like running it's good for performance you know yeah I'll give you some information but this is called what the health it's about all the health aspects of plant-based diet. Um, this is about the environment, how it's destroying the environment. And this here's ethics. This is a great speech by Gary Yourofsky. Mm. Best speech you ever hear. Yeah, I heard about it. You I heard didn't about see it. it. Yeah, I didn't see it, but I heard about it. Have a, have, a, have a watch, see what you think. And all okay. I can do is leave you with that, man. But thanks so much for the thank, talk. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks, guys. Here, thank here. you very much. Thanks so much for the conversation. Of so, Good so, thank you so right. much. Here, take a card. Here's a, here's a card. It's just got some, some stuff about the environment, health, ethics, and a little vegan challenge for 30 days you can try it just for 30 days and these it's for free for more. it's for free they help you they'll help you like where to find stuff that's vegan and yeah you know 30 days why not why not thanks a lot brother thank you very much <laughs> all right brother so what just happened there lady just went vegan yeah yeah she just came out of the cube and once she came out she was really shocked at what yeah. she saw uh, apparently she's already vegetarian but she told me uh, I didn't know they do that stuff to male chicks. I didn't know they do that stuff to cows. Yeah. Um, and once they, uh, once she saw it, she was like, "Oh my God, how how do they become vegan? T please tell me how." So I just signed her up on the spot to Challenge 22. It was amazing. Challenge 22. Signed her up on the spot. It originated here in Israel, yeah. 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 Uh, Anonymous for Animal Rights uh, created it. Wow. The Challenge 22. Amazing resource. Everyone should sign up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cheers, brother. Thanks, yeah. mate.